Shalom to the nation of Israel before we get started. All praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Brakahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So this your brother Shapai, man, so wanted to come back in, get a lesson in, Lord willing, and be edifying, you know, not just for <laughs> anyone listening, but to myself also, man. So I watched, I was watching Elder Manat Zakbar's um, lesson last night, the Elder out of South Carolina, GMS South Carolina, um, 08. So, um, and he was referencing um, a lesson that Dubar Kabash did on his brother, on his dude. It don't even really matter who the guy is or whatever. And so I even seen in the past, I had sent the elder, you know, a video that looked like he was cruising, looking for him. Then I even seen yesterday that he did a lesson on me, tagged me in a lesson or whatever. And so the elder was going into it like, yo, just don't even worry about these guys because they, they on a low level and you pretty much taking yourself down to, to their level, you know, engaging in the back and forth between them and this and this and that. And, you know, I'm trying to get better at that definitely. You know, if I'm going to do a lesson on somebody, my, not necessarily put them in it, but you know, just bring a lesson out as far as the scriptures and edification or whatever the case. But, you know, I appreciate the elder doing that either way it go. Where's my phone at? So like, yeah, I don't even have my phone to do this lesson. Give me one sec, Israel. Give me one sec. So like about that. You know, I was just thinking about the lesson, so let's let's get into it. Let's get you see this first scripture on the on the board. We're gonna get that one first. Hebrews. You know, and I told the elder, you know, thank you know the water. You know, I appreciate the guidance and everything, and you know, gotta stay focused on what we you know, Hebrews, let's start at tw three and twelve. Take heed, brethren, least there be in any of you. An evil heart of unbelief and departed from the living power, but exalt one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through deceitfulness of sin. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we got to take heed to ourselves. We got to, um, where's that one? What's that other one? First Corinthians? I think it's 3 and 13 and 15, 13 and 5. Let's see. Oh, Second Corinthians. Yeah, you got to always be, you know, checking yourself out, man. Make sure you're in the right spirit. Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves, whether ye be in the faith. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai Hamashiach is in you, except ye be reprobates. Yeah, man, you don't want to start getting into a, a back and forth with people that clearly don't have understanding of certain things, whether or not we in a new covenant, talk about they done received spiritual powers and everything so far already and everything like that. You know, it's just, you know, <laughs> it's just a waste of time, man. It's, it's fruitless, man. It's fruitless because they going to think what they want to think anyway. Let's get this one. Proverbs. Proverbs 27 and 17. Let's get that one. Proverbs chapter 27 and 17. Iron sharpeneth iron. So a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. Yeah, and I, you know, I know the elder don't know me. Don't, you know, don't know me from a another brother that, that's on the common board or whatever, you know. But, hey, I look at everybody that's teaching the same doctrine at least as my friend, my comrade, you know what I'm saying? I don't know the, the brother Amawada Bob, but I have a sincere, you know, a sincere um, special special kind of feeling towards this brother, towards Gabar Dama, even though I've met Gabar Dama. 
because I learn from these brothers. I ask these brothers questions. They give me guidance. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, how can you not have some sort of reverence, you know, and not where I got them on a pedestal type of situation. The same thing with the Elder Manat the Zotbar. I learn from these men. You know what I mean? So how can I not? I say, I don't care nothing about these brothers, man. F them brothers, man. That's the wrong spirit to be in, man. Let's get Ephesians. Yeah, so you know. And what the brother, the brothers, what the elder said was right, man. You know, you get into a back and forth with these guys. And, you know, I see, <laughs> you know, you he, he did a whole lesson on me. And the whole lesson, he is it's black. The whole screen is black. And he just rap babbling for like 30 minutes. I didn't listen to it. I skimmed through it. I'm like, this guy's bugged out, man. It's a waste of time going back and forth with him. Let's go Ephesians 4 and 22. That ye put off concern in the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Yeah. Because, see, the old guy, the old man, the old person that you used to be in the world, somebody say something about you, you want to go back at them. You want to check them. Yo, who you talking about, dude? What the F is wrong with you? You know, you that's, that's the wrong spirit to kind of be in, man. It's the wrong spirit to be in, man. It is. It's the wrong spirit. Because at the end of the day, you know, if he, that's what he think he need to do to work out his salvation through fear and trembling, go at it. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and 11. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you... 2nd that 1st Thessalonians 5 and 12 and we beseech you brethren to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you and to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake and to be at peace among yourselves see it's right there in the scriptures man acknowledge them the, the brothers that's laboring that's following the, the, the doctrine the truth, the 100% truth that uh, are the scriptures that's been laboring in the doctrine. And you know, you got to give heed to when they tell you certain things. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient towards all men. See that none render evil for evil. Yeah, so if the brother come at you in a cross way, uh, in, a, in, a, in a funny style or whatever the case may be. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourself and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. Yeah, pray without ceasing, man. Because some of these dudes ain't going to get it. No matter what you say to them, they not going to get it. They're, it's their lot to not get it. <laughs> Their lot is to not get it. So what are you going to do, man? Pre 2 Timothy 4 and 2. Preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. And if they not going to get the doctrine, well, how are you going to exalt them? They not trying to hear what you talk about, man. They coming against what you try to talk about, what you try to teach. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. 2 Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust shall they heat to themselves teachers having itchy ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Yeah, man. <laughs> so what you going to do, man? You got to you got to push the word and exhort the people that that's actually the remnant, the one third and in the in the um hopeful elect that's going to get it. The two thirds not going to get it. You could try to beat it into them. You could take the the Bible and, and the apocrypha and beat it, try to beat it into them. Man, it's not going to go in, man. It's not going to seep in, man. It's not going to seep in. Let's go Hebrews 10 and 24. And let's go 23. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for he is faithful that promise. 
and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and and to good works. Yeah, man. Not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together as the manner of some is, but exalting one another and so much the more as ye see the day approaching. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't, man. Because he all his hands already got their spiritual powers, man. Second Timothy 1 and 8. These hands already got their spiritual powers. They already in the new covenant. So they pretty much good, man. <laughs> Be not ashamed, therefore. Second Timothy 1 and 8. Be not therefore. No, Salakia. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. Yeah, excuse me, Salaki. Yeah, these heads talk about they already got spiritual powers. They good, they okay, they... <laughs> They got their crown on already. They bug. I mean, what are you going to do with that, man? You can't do that with that. Dude, talk about he got his crown on already. <laughs> Woo! First Thessalonians 3 and 3. That no man should be moved by these afflictions. For yourself know that we are appointed unto... For, ver for verily, when we were with you, we told you before that di we should suffer tribulation even as it came to pass and ye know. Yeah, tribulation. Like a head doing a, a 30 minute lesson, <laughs> lesson on you and he mad, he in his feelings. But he, he, he still mad, but he in the new covenant. He in the new covenant. He got spiritual powers and he got his crown on. What are you mad for? You should be happy. All your videos should be happy. <laughs> he in the new covenant. With, he in the new covenant with spiritual powers and a crown. But he's still mad at me. <laughs> he's still tagging in the apostles. You tagging the apostles in your madness, man. James 1 and 2. My brethren. Count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work of patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Yeah, man. You won't be tried. You won't be put through it. You got to show patience. You got to ignore knuckleheads. This is what you got to do, man. You got to. That's what you got to do, man. And it's not just for the better of the 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 sheep or the 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 people that you're trying to give this word to. It's better for them because you focus on doing what you're supposed to do. But it's also better for you because it's making you a better person, man. It's making you a better person, man. First Peter four and twelve. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to you as though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice in as much as ye be partakers of Hamashiach's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Yeah. So you go through what you go through now, man, and you deal with what you deal with now. And it's like, it's, you know, you hope that at the end, he that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. We'll close it out with this one. Let's get 2 Timothy. Yeah, man. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. Let's start there. Let's see. Yeah, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bounds. But the word of the power is not bound. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain salvation, which is in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach with eternal, eternal glory. Yeah, like I said, man, you 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 go through what you go through and you focus on doing the work for the elect's sake, man. Because the two-thirds, you're not doing the work for the two-thirds sake. The two-thirds ain't going to get it, man. The two-thirds ain't going to get it, man. 
iron sharpeneth iron. So if an elder that's been in the faith, been doing this thing and dealing with bug outs <laughs> way longer than you've been dealing with bug outs and he gave you some good advice, how can I just ignore his advice or not take it to heart or at least meditate on what he said to me? 11. It is a faithful saying for if we be dead with him, we shall also live with him. If we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we deny him, he also will deny us. So yeah, so we gotta, we gotta, like I said, man, we gotta stay focused on, on, on doing what we supposed to do. 14, let's go down, 2 Timothy 2 and 14. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive, not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Woo! Let's read that one again. 2 Timothy 2 and 14. Of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the Lord that they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Yeah, man. That's what we do this for, man. We do this for the elect's sake, man. We endure all things for the elect's sake. We don't endure nothing for the two-thirds sake, man. Bump them, man. <laughs> Bump them, man. So, yeah, so hopefully, Lord willing, this was edifying, man. And we're going to close out with all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, the Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukah HaKadosh. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth, and the other brothers that's outside of GMS that follow their doctrine that I learned from too. You know what I mean? It's not just inside GMS, it's other brothers outside of GMS that teach their doctrine that I learned from as well. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations. Keep pushing his word. Keep pushing his word. Cause it's killing, it's killing um Utube. Utube is a mess, man. They hid the apostles live stream they did last night. I was watching the elder Manat Zakba lesson and I, I seen he was watching it. I'm like, but why I can't pull it up? So I'm typing it in all types of ways. I'm looking for it on the channel that he got, he, it, it, it's showing on his pages on. It's not popping up. I'm like, man, YouTube is a mess, man. You, <laughs> they're a mess, man. <laughs> to the remnant, men, women, children remain spiritual out there. And me too. Gotta stay spiritual, man. It's not a carnal thing. It's not a, a get mad thing. It's not a battle thing. It's not a, a the, the, yeah, this is a spiritual thing, man. Gotta remain spiritual out there. Kwam Yashirala and the Bible, Bible. Rock a thumb, family. Shalom.